Hi, I'm Marlene and I'm back again. I am going to continue the video that I started where it was basically like a day in the life of. I had to stop what I was doing because I wanted to get to the stores before they closed. And I forgot to finish my scent of the day. So I wore Life of the Party with Giorgio Armani C. Fiore. Um, it was a nice, pleasant, sweet scent. Oh, I can smell it a little bit. Not a lot. I'm smelling the C. Fiore. Okay, so it did pretty good on clothes. I don't smell it on my skin, but it was a nice um, layering combo. I um, I don't even know what time it is. I don't have my watch on. But I've had it on for at least four hours. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll remember before I close out the video to check it again to see if it's still on my clothes. So it would basically, it would basically be like close counters i think if i hug someone so what i'm i'm going what i'm going to do is start tackling the bags of clothes that i bought in my suitcase get that stuff put up and you can see from the mirror let's see this stuff over here is clothes that i also have to get put up so i'm going to tackle that stuff first um, you'll probably get to see some of the stuff that I'm doing, but then I'll turn off the camera and start it back up and the stuff will be gone. But what I will show you since it's here in this bag, <laughs> I got, I went to Old Navy and I bought some stuff off of clearance that I can wear to work. These are like a, a lightweight jogging pants. And it has pockets on the side, pockets in the front. I actually had a pair like this before, but they weren't cropped. They were full-length pants. The pants was made a little bit different on the bottom, but they're very similar. So these are some comfortable pants. Oh, these are petite. Okay, perfect. So these are medium petite. I only paid $7.97 for those. I bought this jean shirt. It was only $6.99. So the pants, those pants were medium. This is a large shirt, just a jean shirt. Throw that on with anything. And some more pants for work. These were $6.97. Um, these are the high rise, the 7 8 length. And these are light compression. So they have a zipper pocket. Oh, it has a pocket. And then you have a zipper here. Just a little bit of a, a different design. I think I've said before, these will be full length on me. Even though they're 7 8 they'll be like a right above the ankle or right at the ankle. Um, these are medium, but I was checking these, so I'm like, oh, these look little. But I guess that's how they always be, because they give you a little bit of support in the stomach area, because they high rise right here, so that's good. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do a try-on haul with this stuff here, but I did get some stuff from, um, Express. I'll show it right quick. I may do a try on haul some at some other date, but this is a shirt I got on the, they marked it like, um, they marked it down and it has 60% off. So this is a large, it has faux leather trim. So it's lace and leather and it's, um, it's not a crop top. It fits right at the waist. So I have lots of full leather items and then I bought this cami so it kind of has the um the cow neck in the front this is these ran kind of small this is an extra large 
and I bought some sequin pants and the cami is to go with the sequin pants and these are medium these are cropped but they fit me full length so that's that I had to put them in a separate bag because they can um they can snag that black shirt And all this stuff was on sale. Let's see. I spent a total for three items of $88.36. So, yes, I am the bargain shopper. I try to be. Most of the times, I try to find stuff on sale. So. That's that. I should have got some hangers and just hung it up. While I'm showing it to you. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Okay, I brought a few hangers out. Get the stuff put on some hangers. Okay, that's stuff I need to fold up. And this gets folded up because it's work clothes. Fold it up. Okay. Sometimes it seems like the hardest thing to do is put the clothes up after you after you've been somewhere or when you buy new clothes. I used to just let them keep or most stores if I can let them keep it on the hanger, I will just keep it on the hanger cuz that way I will take it out the bag and hang it up right away. But I'm not using those kind of hangers no more for the most part. So, I have to do the right thing. I should have found some kind of bottoms to hang this up with. Matter of fact, I think what I am going to do in my head, I want to wear this jean shirt with some like faux leather, something, skirt, shorts, pants, something that I have. So that may be what I do. I'm going to put these on the same hanger. Because they... They may be going out of town with me pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put these on the same hanger for now. Until I figure out how I really want to wear it. That's that. And these two pieces go on the same hanger. Y'all gonna find somewhere to be fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna hang this over it. I don't think it will snag this, but just in case. So I'll just hang it like that. Then these are bags I can get rid of. Bunch of hats in here. Oh, I got another a hat to go with this scarf. Now, why is this 
see here. These my little furry gloves. Now what did I do with my um Furry, um, what do you call the thing? The thing to go around my head. It's not earmuffs, but mm, headband. I don't know. I got furry hair headband to go with these gloves. These are just some I had. So I'm gonna pause it now and get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. So one thing I want to say, I have like eight. Um, what you call these things? Wallflowers in here. And I need to exchange them. I don't know what I did with the receipt. I've been holding on to these Bath & Body Works receipts. And now I can't find the receipts for these wallflowers. But I'm going to have to deep dive look. Because if you try to change wallflowers without the receipt... Like the ones that you bought during the sad sale, they're going to give you the lowest price, which I think is $187. And then they're going to make you, whatever that price comes up to, you have to pay the difference for the new wallflowers that you want to exchange for. So I have to look for them because I think I paid, I think I paid $350 for some of them. And another set, I may have paid two something for them. But anyway, that's what they're doing at Bath & Body Works as far as exchanging stuff if you don't have your receipt. So I have to go look for my receipt. <laughs> okay, so I did go out and find a... Um, broadband sunscreen. I bought it from the Glow Recipe. I'm going to try this one. This is SPF 50. It has chemical and um, what do you call it? Natural? Oh, mineral. Mineral and chemical sunscreen ingredients mixed together. It has. Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing it today. This is what it has in it. I'm gonna let y'all read it and see. Those are the four different sunscreens it has in it. I know it has the zinc oxide and I read somewhere that you should, it's better to have the zinc oxide in it. I don't know if that's true or false. I have to look up and I have to look at it some other time, but this is priced for $34. I had a $10 certificate, so I used it and I got it for $24, so that was good I'll try this one hopefully it doesn't bother my eyes too bad I put it on my hand and it seems to blend in pretty well but we'll see as I use it <laughs> okay y'all don't know this but I didn't got sidetracked looking for that damn them um Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works receipts. This was a Christmas present from one of my friends. She bought this salad bowl, and it has like the different pieces. So your salad goes in the bowl, and then you put like all your stuff that you want to put on your salad on top, and it has a little container for your salad dressing. So I thought that was nice. Seeing as though I need to get back eating better and getting some of this weight off of me, this will come in handy. I'm, I probably look like I'm still in the same spot. But I did clear out these bags. I found my receipts for my wallflowers and this is empty too i gotta i got them hanging on my dresser but gonna put these away i should say yeah put the clothes away 
Okay, so I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I finally got this corner cleaned. This is all bags that need to go in the trash. This is my, my bag that's cleaned out. Well, for the most part, that stays in there. I actually need to go in the trash. It's old with some cinnamon sticks. That's old. So, this is pretty much done. Well, this is done. Put this in my closet. Put these items, oh, I got one more. Put these items in my closet. Okay, so I'm not gonna turn the camera yet. I'm gonna turn it, but these, that's where that bunch of clothes was at right there. I've cleaned up some of it, so I gotta get the rest, and I will be back. Okay, I guess I'll try to talk a little bit. So, I got most of the stuff off of this, um, what you call this thing? like an ottoman, a chest, or whatever. I got most of the stuff off of there. Y'all, I can't open that drawer fully because I broke it up. <laughs> so, I'm almost, I'm almost there, y'all. Oh my goodness. So, I hope that this encourages you to clean up your room. I started before New Year's and I wasn't able to complete it. And then I added to it. I like to, I usually like to have my room cleaned up before New Year's, so hopefully I will keep my room clean all year long. We're going to see. I'm going to have to work diligently, diligently at this. I don't know why I'm hanging this up. This needs to be washed. And the more and more I try to figure out how to store my items, my clothes, it seems like, oh, I don't need this anymore. It seems like the more and more I um, accumulate clothes and they can't fit anymore. So. this sweater like I just filled up my sweater drawer so it can't even go in the sweater drawer just gonna have to go in here oh y'all can't see but besides the shoes that I have over there in the other corner more shoes here so now I got a whole pile of shoes I need to put up. I didn't even wear this robe. I wore the pajamas and not the robe. I want to try and keep my room cleaner because I'm having a hard time. I don't know. What do I want to tell you guys? Oh, okay. So, I'm going to do an upcoming video. 
I'm going to show you my complete um, fragrance collection. So that'll be coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoy that. Tune in and enjoy. Okay. What I really need to do is strip my bed and remake it, but that's not happening today. I'm just going to straighten it up. Putting those clothes in my dirty clothes, putting it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause again. <laughs>